Jared Kushner has been working on this plan for two years, and we still don't know what's in it. As you noted, first he said he was going to wait until after the Israeli elections in April to unveil it, uh, and then he actually said he was going to wait until the end of Ramadan. Uh, there's not clear whether the change, the new election now in Israel will delay it even further. Uh, it's, it's, it's up in the air what it's in. He's going to, of course, unveil the economic aspects first, but the map clearly shows that the United States is very friendly to Israel. Of course, Israel's been an ally of the United States since its inception, but the relationship between the two countries has certainly gotten closer with Donald Trump in the White House and Netanyahu uh, leading Israel. And I really have trouble believing that anything in that plan is going to be something that Israel won't like. Uh, of course, one of the reasons we suspect that Kushner might not want to unveil it during the elections is that there may be concessions in there that he wants Israel to give and is worried that might harm Netanyahu's election prospects. But it is hard to believe he's going to ask for too much. Uh, Donald Trump has really only just given Israel uh, many things. It's moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, of course and uh, then recognize the Golan Heights as Israeli territory. So uh, it's hard to believe that this plan will be bad for Israel, but we still haven't seen it.